What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna bring you the T16 Thor Seder build that I got to talk to you guys about in the last video that we did for the Crusader. Now we have our Thor Speeds build, which is insane with the Guardian set, but I told you I'd bring you a T16, so here we go. So we're gonna do the T16 run real quick as we normally do for you guys to just showcase everything. And then we're gonna go over the entire build and then we're gonna talk about a few different ways that you can build it because there's a lot of variety when it comes to doing this T16 build. But let's get right into it. Okay, we're just gonna do a Nephilim Rift. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now that this build is so fast that we may not even need to do anything. Look at this. The only thing that you got to do with this build, guys, is just ride the horse and let the Fist of Heavens do their thing. The entirety of this whole build is we want to only get off when the cooldown for the horses hit and then when we're picking up items. Maybe grabbing a pylon, because sure, why not? Otherwise, the build is so fast. All you got to do is ride around and do nothing. And I'm going to say this right now for the video, guys. This build might give you know strafe dh the multi-shot strafe dh a run for its money because this thing is insanely fast look at us just destroy everything as we're moving we don't even have to get off the horse pick up pick up stuff vibing so the whole idea of the build guys is to stay on the horse you shouldn't you shouldn't have to even use your other abilities you can if you'd like but you're going to be so strong for t16 it isn't going to matter. And you move so fast. Look how fast we kill this. And isn't it cool? Just lightning absolutely everywhere. Lightning everywhere. Maybe call down some more. Let's get our, uh, our Rift Guardian. And we absolutely destroy. Absolutely destroy T16. This is going to be great for farming keys. This is going to be great for farming bounties. Especially... So the whole build is pretty easy. If you want to rock iron skins for defense to get that going, if you want to do unstoppable force to get the redo recost uh, reduction, and then the uh, Akras champion for more armor, you can. But you're going to be riding Steed Charge the entire time, guys. And we absolutely crushed that. So let's go get into the build. Let's talk about it. So let's go over the build. I'm going to talk about a few different things that you can do to... Uh, to change it up if you'd like you have a lot of variety when it comes to this let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff here in the center here get rid of all this extra stuff get rid of that get rid of that get rid of this this and that okay cool all right so let's check it out so you're gonna need the Aegis of Valor set nothing really changes too much from the Thor speeds but we swapped out some items okay so as per T16, we're going with the five or the six piece total with the Ring of Royal Grandor for the Aegis set. We're going with Gold Wrap in combination of uh, Boon of the Hoarder, and then our follower is rocking Avarice Band, which emanates, which will make us invincible. Uh, and then we're going with Squirt's Necklace for more damage. Rachel's Ring of Larceny paired with the Pandal Pandemonium Loop which I think is really cool. You're fearing enemies to get a speed boost, and then you're going to fear enemies that make them die in a bloody explosion for 800% weapon damage and cause nearby enemies to, to flee in fear, which I think is really cool. So it's like you hit them with lightning, you're hitting them with all this lightning, you make them absolutely explode, and it causes everybody else to run in absolute fear of almighty Thor, which I think is great. So we got Pandem Pandemonium Loop, Rachel's Ring of Larceny, Square Snackles for more damage. We paired it with uh, Warzian Arm Guards for more speed, even though we're already going to be crazy fast with Steed Charge, but this just makes us even faster. Okay, then I opted for Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan. Your resource generation and damage is increased by 25% while moving and decreased by 24% while standing still. So the whole idea of this T16 build is to never get off of Steed Charge. Every time you step off because it, it finally cools down after you've been riding it, you hit it again, you should non-stop be able to use this, okay? Then of course our weapons is the uh, Norvald's Fervor set. Of course, this is gonna give us our cooldown on Steed Charge, which makes us absolutely use this non-stop. There should be permanent uptime on this, no problem. And gives us the increased damage. Okay, so overall the build doesn't change too much. We changed a couple 
items okay so into the cube we're going with dark light for more damage uh, and calls down two more fists of course uh Kazisit's cord of righteousness gives us more damage and gives us the cost reduction and then ring of royal grandeur for the six piece set okay uh, our legendary rings for the build guys are going to be zaya stone of vengeance for more damage of course boon of the hoarder for t16 and then uh gogok of swiftness for just even more cooldown reduction and dodge chance okay into our skills we got justice burst we're going with this again guys if you really wanted to you could really swap this out you're never really going to use a primary you could probably do something like um provoke do provoke uh any one of these i guess you could do charge up uh you could do too scared to run uh i mean you could do any one of these things that would be really cool um just to go you're not going to need a main uh, ability on this build at all because all we're going to be doing is steed charging so uh go with that that's fine provokes good fist of the heavens fissure of course steed charge nightmare now if you guys wanted to change steed charge nightmare you could definitely make it something else you could do draw and quarter to pull them you could increase the duration even more if you wanted to by three more seconds if you just wanted to fly we should actually probably do that uh, and then, of course, you have Rejuvenation and Spark Vine. Let me see. Is that? Yeah. Yep, that's the one, guys. So you're definitely going to want to go with uh, Steed Charge um, Endurance so you just last even longer. I thought I had that on there, but I guess I didn't. So Steed Charge Endurance. Iron Skin, Steel Skin if you want it for just more defense. Laws of Valor, Unstoppable Force for just cost reduction. You're not going to need it. You could change a lot of this up, guys, if you, if you wanted to for more things. You could do... Um, Instead of this, you could do Laws of Hope, uh, and then instead of Iron Skin, you could do Shield Glare, something like that. But you're going to be flying around the map so fast. Your other abilities really aren't going to matter too much, uh, but you can use them if you get into a pinch or if you're at low Paragon. And then, of course, Akrat's Champion Profit for just uh, more armor, because after swapping off Guardians, we do lose a lot of uh, damage and toughness, but it is T16, and you should be pretty strong for that anyway. Uh, on to our passives, guys. Heavenly Strength, Lord Commander for more speed. Uh, Heavenly Strength for more damage. Finery for more damage. And then Long Armor of the Law, which makes things last longer. Okay. So overall, that's the build, guys. That's, that was just a quick rundown. Our stat priorities don't change too much. You want Strength, Crit, Chance, uh, Fist of Heaven's Damage. Strength, Vit, All Resist, Cooldown. Strength, Crit, Crit, Cooldown. Uh, strength, Vit, All Resist. Uh, you, want, you want Crit, Crit uh area damage uh or cooldown uh then you want lightning damage because we're a lightning based build strength vit crit chance these two rings we just got them guys so for the build but we definitely want to change these up on here you want crit chance crit chance uh area damage and then you want uh the same thing over here on pandemonium loop we just found this so we really didn't have a whole lot to do but ideally you would want crit crit cooldown on both of these um or you could do area damage if you wanted but you definitely want crit crit cooldown because we want to try to get akrat's champion up as much as possible uh for the pants you want strength vit all resist boots strength vit all resist and fist of heavens damage on the shield you want strength crit chance area damage fist of heavens damage and cooldown if you can get it and then fire damage strength vit cooldown okay we definitely want 10 percent damage bonus here but we just didn't roll it so hopefully you guys get that and then ideally you would want uh lightning damage but we got fire instead but that's okay so those are your stat priorities guys um now let's talk about a few things when it comes to the build okay so if you wanted to let's go over here so this is what we have so originally we were running guardian set with the aquila in the chest so it looked like this all right we had this and then we swapped our rings we had convention of elements and stone of jordan so now we have swapped these out okay for our t16 build now within t16 you can definitely change some things here okay if you don't want to run pandemonium loop you can definitely run coe or you could run stone of jordan perfectly fine i definitely suggest keeping rachel's ring and then of course of course squirts necklace uh also if you guys do do that if you wanted to uh, swap out Hexing Pants of Mr. Yan, so put swap that out and then put these back in, right? So you have the full six piece, then I would change the Royal Ring to Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac because you're going to be hitting with resource spending attacks. So 
you might as well try to get permanent uptime on your skills. But if you are going to use the hexing pants or if you would like to keep Aquilas in there like this, that is perfectly fine too. You can then keep Royal Ring. All that works. Um, but if you want to swap this out to do just the full build, then I definitely suggest Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. I like the hexing pants of Mr. Yan. I think that is really, really cool. It brings a different element to the game. I don't think we get to see Mr. Hexing Pants too much, but I think this is a really cool element, so we're gonna keep that along with the Royal Ring of Grandeur. But as you guys can see, this build is absolutely fantastic. Definitely run it. If you wanna mix a few of these skills up, feel free. Um, but this build is absolutely insane for T16 farming, not only keys, but all of your bounties, etc. So, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support has been absolutely insane. So thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, and that's it for the video, guys. I think it may rival uh, DH Multishot. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.